Jason here, bloodchurch.org, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. I want to talk about the um, the importance of Jesus being begotten. You know, I think it's something that a lot of Bibles remove the word begotten. Let's take a look at um, you know at a verse on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up. Would love to have you, you know join the channel. John 3.16, you know, well, it's a famous verse. Everybody knows it. So let's look at it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so if we look at that, the word begotten is often removed in modern um, Bibles. And so all the new ones, they mistran mistranslate the Greek is what they do. And they the word for only begotten, um, they translate that as only, um, but refuse to translate the word begotten, which is create, it just creates a lie and um, takes away a blessing, you know, for you when you, when you read the Bible. And um, Jesus Christ was not God's only son. Uh, we're all created by God. He also created the angels and the cherubims. And, and so you can, um, God has all kinds of sons, essentially, but none of them were begotten. None of them were, you know, became a man, born of a virgin. Let's go to Hebrews um, 1, 5 through, through 6. I'm going to turn over there now. I should have marked it, so just hold on with me one second. And chapter 1, verses, verse 5 reads, For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. And there it is again. Once more, he's eternally begotten, which means that God, the Son, was not only begotten in eternal in eternity past, but he is begotten right now, and he will continue uh, to be in, on any particular day. He, when he died, his, his blood is all throughout the universe, free for your forgiveness of sins, even if you're already saved walking through, you know, walking through this, this world as a Christian, or if you're unsaved, it's available to be, to be saved. First Corinthians 15, one through four is the gospel, of course, um, where Jesus died on a cross and shed his blood for you be forgiven today. And, um, if we look at verse six, uh, well, let's finish verse five. This day I have begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. And again, this is verse six. When he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. So he's greater than the angels. He's greater than any other son of God. In fact, he's God himself. He's a part of the Holy Trinity. And it's important for us to hold hold the fa hold on to the, the fact that John 3, 16, that he is begotten. Hebrews uh, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6, that again, he's mentioned to be begotten above the angels. It's very important to realize he is God himself. Jesus is eternal. Jesus is a part of the Holy Trinity. And he did the ultimate sacrifice for you, which is which is meant for your salvation to keep you from a hellfire. So take the, um, the free gift of, um, you know, Jesus Christ today. God bless. Have a great day.